Fire. Hey, what's up, guys? Floatown Hockey here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the incredibly rare weapon called the Champion's Cudgel. Now, in order to get this weapon, you have to go to Raven Rock, which is the very first location that we're dropped off at in this DLC. Once you're here, you're going to follow this exact path I'm on right now, and eventually you'll run into this guy named Captain Velith. When you first encounter him, he'll be battling three Ashbon, and from here you're going to want to help him out, defeat the three Ashbon, and then he'll give you the quest to find a clue around the Adias farm. So, now we're going to search the bodies of the three Ashbon that you just defeated, and on one of them you'll find the Declaration of War, to which you'll hand this captain. After you hand him the letter, you're going to be sent on another quest to Fort Frostmoth, which is located just southeast of Ravenrock. And after you get there, you're going to go inside, take a right, go downstairs, take another right, and straight ahead of you, you'll see a door, but for right now, it is locked. So, in order to unlock it, we're going to back up a few steps, take a left, go downstairs, take another left right through the spiderweb area, and then you'll find this knapsack with a table behind it. On top of the table, you'll find a journal, which I already picked up, and inside the knapsack, you'll find the Fort Frostmoth key. So, we're going to want to take that, travel back upstairs to the locked door, and unlock it. It's as simple as that, guys. So, travel upstairs, and wouldn't you know straight ahead of us is the enemy that we're supposed to kill. So after you start battling him, you'll notice he's holding a strange looking weapon, and that's the weapon we're looking for in this video. It's called the Champion's Cudgel, and it normally does 30 damage, but its effect states that it has a 50% chance for each element of Fire, Frost, and Shock to do 56 points of damage. In other words, this weapon normally does 30 points of damage per swing. However, it does have a 50% chance of doing an additional 56 points of damage for either Fire, Frost, or Shock to your enemies. So each swing that you do with this weapon has a potential to do 86 points of damage, and that's pretty awesome, and it's pretty amazing. I love this weapon, it's a great two-handed weapon, and it's probably one of the rare and only ones that I'll use throughout the game. So definitely go get this weapon, it's a legendary item that you won't find anywhere else in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.